Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a fresh strawberry cake with a strawberries and cream frosting. So here's all of what you will be needing to make this cake. In this bowl here I have two and a half cups of flour with one tablespoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. I already mixed it together so it'll be ready to add in when it's time. And in this cup here I have three-fourths cup of whole milk which is at room temperature you want all of your wet ingredients to be at room temperature in this bowl here i have three eggs three large eggs that is room temperature in this bowl here i have two cups of granulated white sugar here is a half a cup of butter shortening one stick of room temperature unsalted butter which is a half a cup here i have one half a cup of room temperature sour cream. Here I have one pound of strawberries which I already cleaned and I'm going to be removing the stems. This is going to be so I can make the puree so that I can make the reduction for our cake batter. And back here I have vanilla extract, strawberry extract, and also red food coloring. I'm going to remove the stems from them and blend them up to a puree and then we're going to put them in a the pan so we can start our reduction. So I'll be right back after I remove these stems off of these strawberries. Okay so it's time to pour our puree that we just made into the pan but what I did with this was just blend up the strawberries after removing the stems. No need to add any liquid to it, no water, no nothing. So this is what you get when you blend it up and we're gonna be turning this into a strawberry reduction. We're gonna cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes until all of the moisture is out of the puree mix. You wanna try and get as much as possible, as much of it as possible out of here. All right, now we're just gonna let that go. And constantly moving it around so that it doesn't stick. So we're gonna do this for about 15 to 20 minutes, as I said earlier. So once I get midway into this uh, reduction process, I'll be right back to show you exactly what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is about 10 minutes into the process of cooking this reduction. As you can see, the sides of the pan are starting to coat and get darker. This is what you want to see. And also, this is starting to get a little bit thicker. You can see that the moisture is starting to evaporate from this mix. So this is it midway in. I'll be back when it's completely done. I'm going to go for probably about another 10 minutes, and I'll be right back. OK, guys, so here's the final result of our strawberry reduction. You want to get this down to about a half a cup and to constantly stir it and move it away from the sides of the pan so that it doesn't burn. Remember that there's sugar, natural sugar in this fruit. So this is what you want to do. Now, before you fold this into your cake batter, you want to let this cool down completely. So this is a half a cup that I've cooked it down to. So I'll be back when it's time to get the cake batter ready after this cools down completely. Okay guys, so our reduction is completed and this is it after it's been cooled. That's a half a cup of that pound of strawberries. All right, so we're gonna get to mixing this cake. So we're gonna start off by creaming our butter and shortening with our sugar. But first I'm going to let the butter and shortening go for a little bit just to get that uh, a 
that creaminess from the butter. Okay, so I'm gonna let these go for about maybe five minutes, maybe six, on medium speed. About five minutes on medium speed. And you also want to make sure that you scrape down your sides even early in the process because you don't want anything to not be mixed completely. I'm going to stop this and kind of release that from the whisk attachment so that it can be mixed properly. Get that air into it. Okay. I'm actually going to just turn this up to high so that it doesn't get stuck into the attachment. I'm going to turn that down to medium. I'm going to screw it down the sides. Okay. I'm going to go for a few more minutes. Probably another three to four minutes, and I'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay, so our butter has been creamed to completion. Now I'm going to start off with adding the sugar slowly. Let me turn this up a little bit. I'm gonna let this go for about six to seven minutes until it's fluffy and white. But right now, I'm gonna stop this so I can scrape the sides down. Okay. All right. Now let's let this go. So guys, like I said, I'm going to let this go anywhere from six to eight minutes to get that fluffy white look. And I'll be back when it's completed and I'll show you exactly what it should look like. Okay, so the butter and sugar mixture is done. And this is what you want. The fluffiness. So I'm going to continue mixing this and now I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna change my paddle attachment. I'll be right back. Okay, so my paddle attachment has been changed. So now we're gonna start off low and add one egg at a time. If it goes, it goes. Egg number two. And egg number three. Now we're going to add our extracts. So for this, we're going to be adding one tablespoon of strawberry extract. Mm. 
Okay. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I'm going to stop this and scrape my sides down so I can get those extracts fully mixed in. So once that stuff is mixed in, we're going to follow by mixing in our sour cream. But I'm not going to use the mixer for that. I'm just going to stir that in. So I'm actually going to stop this right now and add that sour cream in. So it's okay if this is a little streaky. That's totally fine. Just want to mix that in at this point. And there you go. Okay. I'm going to bring that back up. Now with this, I'm only going to add about six drops just to get it started. And if we need to make the cake darker or if you like yours darker, after the batter is complete and you've already folded in your reduction, then you can determine whether you need to add any more drops. So this is one. That was actually two. I saw that. <laughs> okay, three. Four, five, and six. Ooh, that's seven. So we're going to start off with seven drops of this food color. Now, we're going to start with our dry and wet ingredients. Just gonna scrape the sides down just to make sure that food coloring get mixed in all the way. Wow, this smells good. You guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow together and I could post more videos. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some of my flour mixture. About a third cup at a time. Followed by my whole milk. Okay. I'm just going to add the rest of this because I want to finish off with adding the flour last. Okay, the last of the flour. I'm going to turn this down so I can scrape the sides now. 
I can already see because of the color now that we're going to be adding a couple of more drops after we fold in the uh, the reduction, the strawberry reduction, because it's a little too light for my liking. So I don't want it to look gray once it's completed. So I'm going to continue to mix this. Okay, so a little bit more. I don't want to over mix this, so I'm going to go for about 20 more seconds and I'm going to cut this off. Okay, that looks fine to me. So we're going to lower this. Release this paddle attachment. Uh, I want it all, I want it all, I want it all. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna fold in the reduction. And you don't wanna do this with the uh, paddle because you don't wanna over mix your cake batter. And just go around a little bit and make sure that it's fully in there and that there aren't any clumps of the reduction in your mix. You don't want to bake your cake that way. So you just want to fold in. And you can even see like the streaks starting to come. Like from the fresh strawberry. This cake is going to be so good. I just know it and I smell it. <laughs> Wish you guys can smell it too, but you will when you make this cake on your own with this recipe. Okay, so that's folded in enough. Like I said, I don't want to over mix it and I'll give you a close up. Uh, don't want to spill any. See all those strawberry specks? That's what you want. So like I said, I'm going to add one, maybe two more drops of uh, the red food coloring because I wanted a tad bit darker. So here we go. Oh, this stuff is messy, man. It's all over my fingers. <laughs> all right, so one and two. Let's start off with that. So let's fold those two drops in, see how that works out for us. I think I could go with this. This might just work out for me. All right, all right. All right, so that's a perfect pink color. I think we'll go with this. So now, what I'm going to do is get our cake pans ready so that we could pop these in the oven and you, you want to already have your oven preheated to 350 degrees and this cake doesn't take long. This only bakes from at least maybe 20 to 25 minutes. So there you have it. Your batter. Nice and thick. Okay, so I'm going to get our cake pans ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's time to grease up our pans so we can get this all baked up. And look at this cake batter, guys. That is wonderful. That looks so amazing. Okay, so let's spray these pans down so we can get these into the oven. And guys, if your oven is, you know, a little hotter than most ovens, then you want to turn your oven down to at least 320 to 325 and bake it for about 22 25 minutes. There you go. Just need a little bit more right here. Boom. Okay. So now I'm going to evenly distribute this cake batter between the two pans. And if you are good with measurement, 
then this will work out just fine for you. And if you need a little assistance, then you might want to use a scale if you have one. So for now, this is what I'm going to be doing. Okay. Man, I made a mess on the sides, but that's okay. They're all baked together, and I'll wipe it down a little bit before I put them in the oven. So I can kind of see that it needs some hair. So I have a smaller spatula, we can kind of smooth that out, but first I want to get rid of this. Then I'll wipe those sides off. So we're going to smooth this out, tap it to release the air bubbles, and give it a little shake. Okay, that one is fine. Okay, so that's an even layer. Um, okay, tap, shake. Now it's time to bake. So remember, if your oven is a little too hot, then you want to Turn your oven down to 320 or 325 degrees, but this cake is supposed to be baked at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna place these in the oven and let them go for that amount of time. And I'll be back when it's time to check them to make sure that they are toothpick cleaned and that it'll be time to cool them off. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's time to check these cake layers to make sure that they are toothpick clean. So let's do that now. Okay. Looks clean to me. Let's do the next one. Same thing. All right, these are ready. I'm gonna take them out and allow them to cool. We are going to get started on our strawberries and cream frosting for this cake. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so it's time to put this strawberries and cream frosting together for our cake that we baked earlier. Of course, our strawberry cake. So here's all of what you will need to make this frosting. Now, I had a pound of strawberries like I did in the uh, for the cake batter. And I did the same thing here. I cut the stems off after they were cleaned. I blended it up till it was a puree. And I reduced it in a saucepan down to one fourth of a cup. If you have a little over, that's okay. But it's the same process. And instead of 20 minutes, you're going to do it for about 25 minutes to get it down to one fourth cup. So here I have four cups of powdered sugar. I have some salt here i'm just going to be using a pinch that's our measurement for that i have one stick of butter which is a half a cup i have vanilla extract and i have strawberry extract and i have one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and two ounces of cream cheese so let's get to mixing guys first we're going to put our butter and cream cheese into the mixer and let that cream together And y'all already know, I got to get it all. Okay. 
That's that. Now the cream cheese. Just gonna dump that in there. And also, you want your butter and uh, cream cheese to be room temperature. So I'm gonna mix this and cream it together. Just until it's well incorporated and slightly fluffy. And of course, I'm gonna scrape down the sides so that everything can get mixed properly. Probably gonna have to do it again, but that's okay. Get that cream cheese over there. Okay. All right. I'm gonna mix this like on a medium speed. I'm going to mix this for about two to three minutes just to make sure that it comes together. You don't see any white streaks in the butter from the cream cheese. You want to make sure that it's all one color, which would be a white color. And then you want to make sure that it's cream until it's fluffy. Push the sides down again. Okay, that's creamed enough, so it's been about three minutes for that. So what I'm going to do is allow this to keep mixing, and I'm going to add in a pinch of salt. Still got food coloring on my hand <laughs> from earlier. Okay, here's our pinch of salt. I'm gonna mix that in, let that go. Now we're going to add our extracts. Okay, of the strawberry extract, we are going to be using a half a teaspoon of strawberry extract. We're going to be using one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're going to start to add, let me scrape the sides down. Then we can add our powdered sugar. Make sure that these extracts of being blended into the butter and cream cheese mixture properly. Okay. Ah. Get down there. Go, 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 go. Okay. 
Now you want to start off low, at a low speed when you're adding your sugar because you don't want a sugar cloud everywhere. You just want to do a little at a time. And of course, straight down the sides. As usual. Wow, this smells good. some more sugar while it's off. Add some more sugar. Ooh. Some of these are going to go. Turn it up a little bit. Scrape those sides down and also on the bottom because I can see that there's powdered sugar on the bottom that they didn't, didn't get mixed in. Okay, so we're gonna do this again for the last little bit of powdered sugar. Turn it on off, and right on in. Yeah. Let that all come together. Okay, let me do my scrape down. Make sure I get that bottom. this down all the way so I can get that powdered sugar at the bottom so it can be mixed in as well. This happens sometimes and this is what you do when it does. Okay. Okay, let's bring that back up. Finish this off. I'm going to turn this on high. I'm going to add my one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Let's get this down. I'm 
let that go for a minute or two. Then we're gonna hold in our puree. So now it's time for our puree. Scrape this down first. Okay, let's release that. Before I turn that on, I'm gonna put this in. And there you have it. Our strawberry reduction has been added in it, and now I'm gonna mix this until it's well incorporated, and our strawberries and cream frosting will be done. Scrape that down. Wow, this smells so good. Uh, okay, now. Wow, that looks amazing. And this is done. I'm gonna scrape this down just to get all of this mixed in one final time. It's basically done, but I just wanna, you know, be on the safe side. And then if your mixture is too loose, well, if your frosting is too loose, you can always pop this in the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes and let it come together to where it has its uh, stiffness. <clears throat> and that'll be just perfect. That's that. So here is our strawberries and cream frosting. So that is done. I'm gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes and I'll be taking this out and then we'll frost our cake. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's time to frost that cake. Here is the frosting that we made. Doesn't that look amazing? See all those specks of the strawberry reduction? Amazing. So I just took this out of the refrigerator from about after 10 minutes. So now let's put it all together. Oh, oh, what an embarrassment. Well, guess what? It's a part of life. <laughs> And I'm just gonna fill that baby back in. We're gonna have us a little part of a cake. There we go. There we go. So hopefully the other part isn't like that. But if it is, just do what I did. <laughs> All right. So let's center this. Start putting this frosting on.
for the middle part, you can put as little or as much as you like. Probably going to be taking some of this off because I don't want the center to have too much in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit off. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Okay. A tad bit more. Okay, now let's even that out. And once again, and once again, guys, like I mentioned in my other previous cake videos, I am not a professional baker. So this cake, I'm try I'm gonna try and make it look the best I can. As far as decorating it. I'm gonna add just a little bit more in the center. Okay, enough playing. Let's put that second layer on, and hopefully what happened with the first one doesn't happen with this one. Pray for me. All right, let's see. Ah, a tiny bit, a tiny bit. Not bad though, not bad at all. Okay. Guys, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator just to let it set before I cut it. And then we'll be cutting this together once it sets. So I'm gonna finish frosting this cake. And then like I said, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. This smells so good, like fresh strawberries. That reduction is really a game changer. Putting that in uh in your fresh cakes. So guys, don't forget to like this video, comment in the section below, and let me know what you think of this. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel and definitely hit that notification bell so that when I post another video, you'll be one of the first to know. So you don't miss out on any of these recipes that I am posting. And for this cake guys, the recipe Ingredients will definitely be in the description the description below. So don't worry, I got y'all. Okay. Just bring that over. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys. We're not going to need much more of this frosting. And there's very little left, but probably not going to use it. Okay, that looks good. Give y'all a close up. See that? You can see those specks of strawberry all over the cake. That is amazing. And I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. So okay guys, I'm done with frosting this cake. I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and I'll come back when I'm ready to cut this. I just want it to set a little bit, okay? And I will be right back. Okay, y'all, so the cake has chilled. I let the frosting set on it. So we are going to cut this cake now and see exactly what we did. Okay, so let's get it right about here. clean cut. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. Look at that. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That looks amazing. So, There you have it. Nice, moist strawberry cake. Now let's check for the moisture, like we always do. Look at that. That cake is soft. Check that out. So now, of course, we gotta try it. Wow, that's good. Did a good job. So there you have it, guys. A homemade strawberry cake with a strawberries and cream frosting. There you go. Look at that. Nice and moist. That's what you want. That's what you want. All right, guys. So that's the end of this video. I will see you in the next video. And guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post another video. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.